WSBT 22 News at 530. There have been several close calls. Goshen Middle School students trying to cross Plymouth Avenue. Now, not all the students use the only crosswalk in that area. So the city is looking into a pedestrian tunnel. WSBT 22's Ed Ernstis reports a number of agencies would have to sign off to get the project started. Traffic on Plymouth Avenue that turns into State Road 119 by Goshen Middle School can get pretty heavy at times. On average, about 250 students use this crosswalk at the bottom of a hill to go across Plymouth Avenue. With um, approximately 11,000 cars per day on State Road 119, it does create a, con a safety concern at a mid-block crossing. There have been some close calls, which has raised concerns with some parents. Since 2012, we've had four um, accidents that have involved pedestrians um, at that, around that crossing, and also there have been a number of um, vehicular accidents that have happened, um, about five since 2012. The school system recently met with the city and state highway officials to figure out a way to improve safety for walking students along Plymouth Avenue. Several options were discussed, one of which to build a pedestrian tunnel across Plymouth Avenue, one somewhat similar to this one built by Shanklin Park back in 2010. Again, it will be a while before a final decision is made as to whether a pedestrian tunnel along here would be the best way to go. It will be up to NDOT, the city, and the school system to reach a consensus on that. One of the major concerns with building a tunnel at this location is it, the cost factor. The cost is estimated around $2 million. In Goshen, Ed Ernstis, WSBT 22 News. Well, NDOT already has plans to install school zone flashers to slow traffic down during school hours next spring. It would reduce the speed limit to 25 miles an hour when kids are walking to and from school.